Welcome back everybody. Time for a beer review. I thought I wouldn't be doing a whole lot more of these these days do more homebrew videos if I end up posting a video up on YouTube. But Fuller's, or at least someone from Fuller's and the media department contacted me about reviewing some Fuller's beers because as of the day of this recording, Friday, the, the following day is the, the big wedding over in the UK. So Fuller's uh, offered out to send some beers to review. So first up is going to be London Pride, 4.7%. This is uh, considered to be like their bitter as opposed to the ESB extra special bitter. So this is kind of their, you know, uh, I forget like on the style guidelines where 4.7% for bitter ranges. Uh, if that's best bitter, bitter, best bitter, and there's ESB. So anyway, um, they say they've been making this since 1845. Uh, it's been a while since I've had London Pride. And I'm trying to remember the last time I had London Pride might have been when I was actually in London on cask. I mean, it's been that long. So I'm looking forward to getting it reviewed. We got it poured out. It's very clear copper color. Uh, fairly, uh, slightly off white head. Um, lower end of carbonation. Uh, I actually already had a Fuller's pint glass, so I'm putting that to use. Very fruity nose that their yeast esters they get are coming through big time. A lot of that like stone fruit, orangey, marmalady character. I get that on a lot of Fuller's beer, especially when they use their yeast strain on other types of beers. This yeast strain would is is something like you know that they want to use in uh, Northeast uh, IPAs for sure, hazy IPAs. A little biscuit, a little, a little bit of a caramel malt coming through. Big breadiness from the base malt they use. Uh, trying to pick up some hops. Definitely some earthy hops. Maybe slight spice. Maybe a distant uh, floral character, but definitely more malt forward. But um, you, you definitely pick up some hops. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, it's great. Not as good if you're in London and had it on cask, especially if you went to the brewery and had it there. But yeah, super balanced, um, easy drinking beer. 4.7%. Yeah, it's insanely drinkable. There's a little bit of a lingering character, but I mean, for the most part, it's gone off your palate and you're ready to go back in for more. Pretty much all the flavors I picked off on the aroma, I'm getting in the flavor. Finishes dry, the, those hops kind of come through, balance it out with that dry, earthy finish. Um, yeah, kind of like, uh, not quite damp earth, but more of like a dried, almost kind of dry hay-like character. Uh, the malts there, the base malt. Ready biscuit, some caramel kind of blends in nicely with the yeast esters that are coming through. Orangey, marmalade -y kind of character. Sort of stone fruit like. Yeah, kind of stone fruit. Kind of a blend, just a nondescript stone fruit character with that orange marmalade kind of yeast ester going on. Kind of works really well with the caramel that's in there and then the Brady Biscuit notes, so. Yeah, this is uh, this is still good, you know, coming to the US in a, in a bottle form, but I mean, ideally I'd have it on draft here, uh, if not cask, uh, cask is definitely the way to go. The bottle form is a little different from what I remember compared to the cask. Um, maybe there's a touch more carbonation in the, in the bottle. But um, yeah, really good stuff, London Pride. Uh, with everything that's going on in the craft beer world, it's really good to go back to a beer like this. Fuller's is one of the first breweries that got, that got me into good beer before the whole craft beer 
kind of thing started going on. So I'm a big fan of Fuller's, and it's fun to revisit these beers and drink them more. It makes me want to drink them more often because uh, I kind of get sick of a lot of the stuff the craft brewers are doing these days. And so, yeah, check it out. Remind yourself of just a good old-fashioned, just really nice, balanced ale, no adjuncts, nothing fancy, super sessionables. So until next time, cheers.